We have arrived in Nashville. This is Ellie, by the way. She's not Hi. been on my channel in many, many, many years. I don't know when the last time LA. No, we filmed a main channel video after that, I think. Oh, yeah, we did. Anyway, oh. we're in Nashville to go see Taylor Swift. I mean, not right now, but we've had a long day of traveling. We've just got in. It's currently now, like, I think our time, maybe like 2 a.m. And we are off out for dinner. Okay. Just, yeah, like, wherever's easiest for you. Thank you. You're That is something I didn't expect to see today. <laughs> the Nashville tractor. 1844 giddy up. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. We just come down to like the main street in Nashville. There's just so much going on. We've just been for high knees. There's people singing everywhere. There's music. There's lights. We then ended up just walking along Broadway, taking it all in, feeling like we were living in a movie set, and oh my god, it was so fun! Possibly drink a make or throw a beer bottle or, you know, whatever you want to do. And then take us with your drink on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three! I'm just editing and any little bits that I didn't get clips on for whatever reason either you know I was having too much fun or I didn't feel like I could vlog, vlog in public or I didn't want to put the camera on Ellie's face basically there were certain moments where I didn't vlog like every single thing for those little bits I'm just gonna fill you in here we had the best first night on Broadway oh my god it was so much more fun than I even expected there's just people playing live music everywhere all day every day we didn't sleep that first night until I think what was 5 30 a.m uk time I don't know how we did it. We didn't even drink. We were just living off the good vibes. And then we went to sleep. The next day we were up really, really early because we were going to Graceland and we had to go and collect a car from a car rental place. And we drove three and a half hours to Graceland, which is Elvis's mansion and his museum. Also, I've come back with a cold, which is why I sla sound slightly bunged up. But this is day two. Good morning, everyone. It is our first full day in Nashville. It looks like a beautiful day today. It is blue skies. This is the view from our balcony and we have just got ready to go. We are off to Graceland today. This is my outfit and I will update you in a bit. This is what the weather is looking like today. And this is Ellie's outfit of the day. She's got this beautiful <laughs> green jumpsuit. I feel like I'm on QVC. Thank you. Got to show the sunglasses. Oh God. They are a big sleigh. Absolutely ruined my hair. Beautiful. Hi, Mum. Thanks, Mum. Shout out, Joe. We love you. <laughs> <laughs> it's my outfit of the day. Come on, Happy boots. Dress, denim jacket. Yeehaw. Giving debut Taylor Swift. Yeah, that's what I was going for. This is the most random breakfast. <laughs> Chocolate milk. Ellie's getting me to try biscuits for the first time. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what it is, but here we go. <laughs> It just tastes like a scone. Yeah, basically. It's just plain. But savoury. And then you're meant to add gravy, which I haven't done, but there is gravy over there. 
It's literally just gone without raisin. Delicious. So we are currently in a fat car. <laughs> Basically, the plan today is that we're driving to Graceland and we're gonna go and do a tour of Elvis's mansion. I think also we've got a tour of one of his private jets maybe. And yeah, basically that is our plan today. However, it's around a three and a half hour drive and we went to collect our rental car this morning and the guy there was basically like, oh, we can't have you like having a small car. I'm gonna upgrade you. So we were like, oh great, that sounds cool. And then he brought the car around and it's this massive like four by four. Ellie's currently driving and uh, has only ever driven a Fiat 500 <laughs> and I've only ever driven a small car so it's an interesting experience but it's so far okay. so good. Yeah, it's going fine. You're doing great. Touch wood. You look like you belong in here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much just one like long straight road and yeah the only like slightly scary bit was coming out of Nashville and trying to figure out like how to turn right and stuff because it's just it's very different in the uk but no so far so good it's a very smooth drive it's a really nice comfy car and i think we've still got actually i don't even know how we might be trading it for we're gonna get back to the uk and get some massive cars for ourselves <laughs> this is the road wow there's so much to see it's just trees and grass and blue sky but um yeah looks like a lovely day yesterday ended up being such a fun night we basically landed at i think we got in at about like six ish and then by the time we got to the hotel it was maybe i don't know eight something half eight yeah eight, eight ish yeah I think it was like eight. um we were like oh let's just go out and get some food because obviously for our time back in the uk it was like early hours of the morning but we thought that we would try and stay up as late as we could so we we're like oh let's just go get some dinner even though we'd had about like three meals <laughs> on the plane anyway so we decided to go into town and go to hattie b's chicken which we'd heard a lot about from like i don't know internet tv shows in nashville they go there so we wanted to go we went into town to like the main broadway bit on nashville why do they call it broadway it's kind of Idea. But anyway, we went to the National Broadway and oh my god, it was literally the most fun. Um, we we didn't know what a honky tonk was <laughs> before so we got there. I know. We went to a honky tonk. You could walk into these bars for free. People are playing music. There was like live singers with bands and stuff. And people were just in there dancing, line dancing, like traditional country singers with people dancing in cowboy boots. And it was honestly the most fun. And I think we might do that again this evening if we're not too tired and depending what time we get back from here. But oh my god, it ended up being the most fun night but yeah so far nashville is incredible everyone here has been so nice and we're having the best time so so far so good we have arrived in memphis Oh no, we just missed the whole thing. That's all right. We do not know where we're going. Turns out we were following the sat nav in the car, which we had put Graceland Elvis's mansion into that sat nav. And for some reason, it took us to the Rock and Roll Museum. We were just like in Memphis, and it turns out Graceland was like 20 minutes away. So we then had to try and figure out how to get out of their sort of like traffic system and go back around and then drive another 20 minutes. And then we eventually made it. But just a word of warning if you're going to Graceland, put it in on Google Maps double check that it's going where you think it's going um because it was really weird it was literally labeled as graceland when it definitely was not we made it eventually we have made it to graceland i don't know what we were expecting but it wasn't this like this literally looks like we're like walking into town. disneyland <laughs> everything's shut down like all the restaurants are closed So first we watched this little video kind of about Elvis and his life, which I guess most people that are there knew that kind of stuff already. But then we got put onto a minibus and went across the road to Graceland, the mansion, which is where Elvis lived with his family, if you didn't know. So that's what all of these clips are here at the moment. And I've got to say, it was very eerie feeling kind of in the house. If you didn't know, this is actually where Elvis passed away. Both me and Ellie said that as soon as we went into that house, we had immediate goosebumps and it was a very odd atmosphere, but also so incredibly cool to see the house. And you're not allowed upstairs. They cut that off and keep that private for obvious reasons. But the downstairs of the house, you can see pretty much everything. There's lots of different rooms you can go into. They all have a completely different theme. Some of them like this one have got like fabric on the walls. Some of the staircases had carpet on them and every room in the house was just a completely different theme which was really cool it had the most beautiful backyard they did have some horses that were just chilling there this was the barn into a converted office kind of area which i believe is where his dad worked and basically ran a lot of aspects of elvis's life and career they had pretty much everything of his life which it was a lot, like there is a lot to look at. This was a squash court or racquetball court that I think he had built. They have his jets there. They have the Lisa Marie 
private jet, which this was the inside of it. It was absolutely incredible. It's not just a regular plane, which I thought it might be like it had these incredible couches and tables and beds and bars and everything was sort of covered in plastic to preserve it. They had tons of his cars. So if you're into cars, there was so many, maybe like 20 different cars and boats and bikes and all that kind of stuff. They even had this section of people that were inspired by Elvis, like other musicians. Oh my god. This is like every single one of Elvis's albums. Wow. Besides the actual inside of the house, this part of the museum was probably my favourite, all of his outfits and costumes. It was just so incredible to look at and the way they displayed them was really cool. And then they had this record room which had some of his awards and then like gold and platinum records albums. The whole thing was such a cool experience and if you're a fan of Elvis, I would highly recommend doing it. What I will say, just a couple of tips, is to give yourself a whole day to do it because we read online that it took between two and three and a half hours, but we ended up being there for nearly four hours wandering around because there is so much to look at and if you actually sort of sit and read everything, it takes a long time and it's not just the house, the planes and the cars, which is what we were initially told when we first arrived. They also have like a few different museums within it which have a lot of his stuff and pretty much everything that he ever owned they have you know all of his different vehicles and boats and just random things from his house his stuff from the army random letters that he wrote checks that he wrote other country music singers outfits and costumes and microphones and guitars and awards and there was just so much to look at and by the time we actually left all of the cafes and drinks stuff had closed and all the staff had gone home. So just make sure you leave yourself plenty of time just so that you can take breaks in between and maybe have a snack and have a sit down, have a drink because we did around 20,000 steps that day. We were knackered by the end of it and we didn't realize that there was even all the stuff going on that was there because the staff didn't tell us where to go and it wasn't really clearly labeled. I don't know if it's because we were out of season. So it was quite disorganized if I'm honest and they didn't check our bags or scan our tickets or anything, which was a bit concerning, but Overall, we did have an incredible day. I would say just be prepared to do a lot of walking and make sure that you bring drinks and snacks with you. And this was the moment when we got back to the car. There was about 10 cars left in the whole car park and we realized that we had left the back window open all day and Ellie's jacket was in the back seat. Luckily, it was not gone. I mean, who's gonna steal a denim jacket? Probably nobody, but we then decided to drive a little bit. Went to Olive Garden before I drove the rest of the way home. We are on our way to Olive Garden. I'm driving a big fat car again. No, not again. This is my first time driving it, but you know what? I, I'm kind of used to it now. We had a good time at Graceland. It feels so weird talking to the camera and I'm not actually looking at it, but safety first. <laughs> we saw so many cool things like Elvis's, private jets, obviously the house, so many of his outfits and like basically everything he ever owned in his whole life was in that place. Literally everything. Um, but it was very long and very badly spaced out. So we're very tired. I'm glad that we did it. It was really good. I would recommend it, but I would say if you're gonna go, maybe go earlier in the day and kind of like spend the day there and space it out and like go to like get lunch there or something in between. I'm gonna stop off for some dinner. And then I think after that, we've maybe got like, I don't know, after all I've gotten, do we have like two hours left or two and a half hours left or something? Yeah, I think like two hours maybe. Okay, cool. But yeah, we've had a great day. Stay tuned for the next clip. <laughs> We're at the Olive Garden, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie just got her sunglasses <laughs> stuck in her hair. Um, this was intentional. Wow, your hair looks really nice. Thank you so much. It's okay, I'm kind of doing it. There we go. <laughs> oh my god, no. That's just like wedged it even more. <gasps> oh, great. Thank you. <laughs> this looks so good. I'm sorry. Back on. so proud for driving yesterday. Yeah, I feel like the world is our oyster now. I know, honestly. We have come to the pancake pantry. We're just waiting in line. We are so hungry. Oh my God, this looks incredible. That is a lot of pancake. At least it's got blueberry pancakes. I've got fruit pancakes with bacon and we're about to get stuck in. Good morning everybody. Today we are walking around Nashville at the moment. Hello. <laughs> We've just been to the pancake pantry, which, oh my God, the pancakes were so good. We specifically wanted to go there because apparently, well, I mean, 
Didn't you just like find really good reviews of it online? Yeah, I think it's, it keeps like coming up as a like must do yeah. thing to do. And apparently Taylor Swift used to go there, so we went there today. And you know what? It was actually very good. But they were big pancakes. They were classic American portion sizes, but they were great. We are going to the Country Music Museum in a little bit. So we just thought we'd wander around, do some shopping until then. So that's the plan. Walking around here, I just feel like I'm part of a TV show. It's just such a beautiful city. The Batman is looking stunning. A few more guests on our stage that I want to thank and recognize are Kevin Lavender. He's the chairman of the board of directors of the National Convention and Visitors Corporation. George from Beaufort. It makes it real personal for me. Here's Chad Atkins on the guitar. So that afternoon we went over to the Country Music Museum where they were doing a tour of RCA Studio B. You actually go into the Country Music Museum and then you hop on a minibus and it takes you over to the studio. We got to see all of the equipment and some of the instruments including Elvis's favourite piano. We got to see where they would sort of stand and sing and place the instruments and they played us some of the music that was recorded there which was really cool. It was a pretty short one, about an hour long in total including the minibuses but I would say it's worth doing if you're interested in country music or just music production in general. All these little video clips were actually live photos that I then converted into videos by the way. And then we went back over to the Country Music Museum and did a tour of the museum in general. They have the Taylor Swift Education Centre which is there all the time where they have some of her costumes. I think they switch things in and out. But we got to see some of her guitars and her outfits from music videos which was really cool, her graduation gown. And then we just explored the rest of the museum. They have so much to see here. Loads of stuff from country singers. Obviously they've got Taylor's guitars. They have cars. They had guitars. They had some of the very first fender guitars, Dolly Parton, Shania Twain, Luke Coombs, Darius Rucker, Ta another one of Taylor's guitars, literally so much country music memorabilia. And then luckily we'd booked our tickets for the museum in advance because on the week that we were there, I think it was just for the weekend actually, they were doing a Taylor Swift eras tour pop-up where they had an outfit from every era and apparently that weekend it was really really busy so I'm very glad that we booked tickets and that we booked for the Thursday because apparently on the Saturday and Sunday and I think the Friday as well there were queues for hours just to look in this little bit. And then finally we went to the hall of fame in the museum where they have loads of plaques on the walls of loads of famous country singers we went to the gift shop and then we went to get some lunch from this shop and when i say the people in nashville are nice just an example here in this corner bakery cafe which is just around the corner from the country music museum i ordered a sandwich and we got two drinks and neither of our cards would work and the man literally gave it to us for free i said to him could he just wait here and is there any way local that i could go and get some cash out and he was like oh no 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 you guys came all the way from london like have a great time in nashville honestly it's on the house and he was just the nicest man ever like who does that? Slay. We're just taking a walk over the bridge to go and get some Taylor Swift merch, hopefully. We have just been to Taylor's merch truck, which I don't know if you can see like the queue over there. It's right there. You know what? We didn't even queue for that long. I'm maybe like half an hour. Yeah, and it means we don't have to carry it all at the concert. Yeah, we don't have to carry it all at the concert. We shoved it in this bag that I had a sandwich in. <laughs> um, just about. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Yeah, maybe I should. <laughs> We're just up on the bridge after getting our merch from all the way down there. That's the stadium and this is the most beautiful view of Nashville. How pretty. Why are they doing that? Sweet Wow, great. All you can really hear in this is the aircon. Hello everyone, we are back at the hotel. We have actually had such a good day. We've done so much today. We were up pretty early and we went to the pancake pantry, which was great. <laughs> Hello. We thought it was gonna be really, really busy, but we went to one that wasn't necessarily the one that Taylor went to because it was closer to the Country Music Museum. And we did the tour. What was it called? The studio tour studio of RCA. RCA Studio B, wasn't it? Yeah, that's the one. Yes. And that was basically where Elvis and Dolly Parton and loads of famous country singers have recorded stuff. Elvis recorded loads of his number ones there and we got to go in the actual studio and they played some music for us, which was really cool. And yeah, that was a really fun experience. Although it was so weird when we showed up, they basically never checked our tickets and they were like, oh yeah, go get on the bus. The whole time we were there, nobody checked our tickets, nobody checked our bags. We just hopped on this bus and went on this tour and we were thinking like anyone could just hop in and do that you know it was fun it was very cool and then we came back and went around the country music museum where they have a full-on taylor swift exhibition at the moment so we obviously went around that and i'll put in some pictures and stuff just because well i mean when we first went in I don't think they said that you weren't supposed to film. And then when I got up there, the guy was like, you're not filming, are you? And I was like, no, I'm just taking pictures. And then we walked across the bridge, went to the Nissan Stadium 
waited in line for merch, which I think we were only there for like half an hour maybe, which was actually a lot better than we expected because we thought we were gonna queue for hours, but we got some Taylor Swift merch, um, walked around, went in some places, went to Shake Shack, had a drink, had some ice cream, and then came back to the hotel. We've just got ourselves ready. It's a little bit more chilly tonight and a lot of my outfits are like skirts and dresses and stuff. So I'm wearing like a long sleeve bodysuit jacket and jeans and some cowboy boots. And we're gonna go to a barbecue, which is just across the street that one of our Uber drivers recommended. And then I think we're gonna go into town and go do some honky tonking so that's the plan we've had a great day and i'll see you in a bit to go see the Taylor Swift bench, which I think was literally put up like yesterday or the day before, and we're now on the ground floor, so I'll see you in a second. Look where we are. We are just walking into Centennial Park. Honestly, I've got no idea where that bench is, but we're gonna go find it somewhere. I'm sure there'll be loads of fans. Yeah, but there's people everywhere. There's a whole like craft fair going on. We are currently walking through this big craft fair in Centennial Park, trying to find the Taylor bench, but this is so lovely. There's loads of cute things. So far, we have not found the Taylor bench, but this is pretty incredible. And Ellie just said that apparently it's an art museum now. Did you say art museum or an art yeah. gallery? Yeah, it's, a, it's an art museum. That is so cool. Oh, there's some tiny little ducklings. How cute. This park is really beautiful. We're still just currently wandering around trying to find this bench. 
We found the key and the bench. I used to read in Centennial Park. Are you still a bench? I got it. Thank you. Look what we just found. Hello everyone, Ellie's just in the bathroom. We are getting ready for Taylor Swift. This is my makeup so far. I'm just gonna stick on some little lashes. And then we're off. <laughs> Hello Spies, I'm here for going to the concert. Oh, she looks <laughs> sick. Me again, another day editing. So after we had been to Centennial Park, which was lovely by the way, beautiful park, highly recommend you visit it if you are in Nashville. We then thought we were going to get a quick lunch. We popped to Walgreens quickly, which is where I saw my palette in there, which was really weird. My highlighter palette, which was not expecting, didn't even realize it was in Walgreens, but we then popped to get a quick lunch at this local kind of cafe place. We went there, had really good reviews on Google. Ellie ordered a pepperoni pizza. I ordered myself a hoagie, which apparently is like a big sandwich and then they toasted it. Bearing in mind, like there was only two other people in front of us in the queue. They'd ordered their food, they got their food they left. We ordered our food. I could see them making Ellie's pepperoni pizza within like two minutes of us ordering our food. It took them 40 minutes for them to give us our food and we were just sort of like sat there waiting and in that time um, a random man sort of like strolled in off the street and started talking to us and was like chatting to us all about British politics. He was American but he was like talking to us for ages and ages and I don't know if they forgot about us. I don't know how they could have done because by the time we got our food we were the only people left in there. It was this tiny little cafe. We were just sat waiting like where is our food and so then we had to leg it back to the hotel and get ready really quickly and like finish off our makeup and stuff, put our outfits on, do our hair, get ready for the concert, make sure that we packed everything into our little clear bag. So Ubers were getting like less frequent and the prices were going up and up and we were like, we need to get to the concert. We got ready in a mad rush and I'm so upset with myself that I didn't even get any vlog footage of our outfits, but I will put in loads of pictures. And then we went to the Taylor Swift concert and this is the rest of the footage, which I can't put all of it in because I will get copyrighted. But like I said, go over to my Instagram if you want to see more clips from the concert it was so incredible oh i can't even explain like it was just such a good show and i was actually just getting a bit teary like watching back the clips of it because i was like you know what me and ellie did that like we went to see speak now the original speak now tour for ellie's 14th birthday and now 12 years later at the age of 26 we made it to nashville to go see taylor in concert in the u.s in the town where she grew up and then she announced speak now taylor's version which was kind of like a completely full circle moment for taylor and for us anyway i'm gonna shut up enjoy the clips you take my hand and drag me head first we made it it's literally the worst lighting in the world but we're currently in the queue for the toilet and support that I receive from this town. I can't tell you how many feelings I have right now, but you being here, 70,000 strong tonight, members of my amazing band and fellow performers on stage. We count this as a hometown show for us. And so for you to be here today, you are.
solid last five and a half minutes, and I love you guys so much. That was so meaningful and so special. Oh my God. Oh, thanks for doing that, that was beautiful. You know, I haven't gotten to play here in years. It's, it's been a, a long time, and, and, and some things have happened. We've added some musical members to the family. Haven't we? Hometown skeptics all in champagne problems. It's such a lovely bride. I want to shake. She's talking to me. decided to completely re-record my first six albums. And I have to be honest with you guys, that was something that really started out as just a passion project that I wanted to do for me. I wanted to own my work, I wanted to own my art. That's something I've cared about since I was a teenager. And, um, I, I, I did not really care very much um, how it did commercially because it was for me. their stories and um, and I, and I think th I think a few of my favorite ones are this um this teenage boy named James right and uh, the story goes that in the month of August James really screws things up with the love of his life and he has to figure out how to get her back There's also a different reason why I'm really excited about this part of the set tonight because because um, I've been I've been I've been planning something for a while. that I've been planning. It's like, it's just something, it's my love language with you, you know? I plot this thing, I plan, and then, and then I get to tell you about it. So, I think rather than me, like, speaking about it, I would just 
show you. So if you would direct your attention to the back big screen that we have. something that I wrote when I was in school and I was like I was going to school during the day and then my mom would pick me up from school and she would um, she would drive me downtown um, to write songs at night and then I'd get home from that and I'd do my homework and then I'd do the whole thing the next day and it was really really fun and those are memories that I cherish so much um, so I wanted to play one from um, my first album realized when we got back that I never actually showed you my makeup so before I take it off this is what it looked like oh my god have we got some catching up to do my throat today is feeling a bit sore yeah last night was incredible we were there for Taylor announcing speak now Taylor's version and everyone lost their shit including us speak now is my favorite album oh my god it was just so incredible I didn't really get to vlog like before because we were getting ready and I was spending time with Ellie and stuff but it was so good and today we are off to the Grand Ole Opry we're gonna go to the Bluebird Cafe first because they're doing like a Taylor Swift pop-up there so we'll try and get in there first go for some lunch then we've got the Opry tour this afternoon so that's the plan sorry <laughs> we're just waiting to come out <laughs> it's fine here it is this is currently the queue outside the Bluebird. We've been waiting for about half an hour. The queue is about two hours. We made it to the front. Famous Bluebird in 
from today's episode of Nashville. <laughs> We're going to meet Gunner at the Bluebird. We ended up queuing for about two hours to get into the Bluebird, but I'm glad that we did because we both have really wanted to visit this place for ages. It's where Taylor was discovered when she was, I think, 14 years old. We both watched the show Nashville, which we loved, and so we really wanted to go visit the Bluebird. Oh my God, I'm ready to devour this. After that, we hopped in an Uber about half an hour away to go to the Grand Ole Opry, which was such a cool tour. I highly recommend it if you're into country music. It's an incredible venue. They specifically said no filming inside of this one, but it was really cool. They started with this fun, like, interactive video, which was kind of like, I don't know, they were projected onto a screen. We actually saw one of the comedians that was performing that night because he had arrived early and he came and said hello to us. We saw some of the dressing rooms behind the curtain, how they control the curtains and stuff and the instruments. We got to take a picture inside of the circle, which was cool. They had a professional photographer. And we would have loved to see a show here, but we just didn't have enough time on our trip. But overall, we really enjoyed the tour, and then we went and did a bit of shopping afterwards, because there is a shopping outlet and mall directly opposite, which was great. We are currently sat right outside of the Grand Ole Opry. This morning we went to the Bluebird Cafe. It queued for two hours to get in, but it was really fun. And we've just done a tour of the Opry. Sorry, it's kind of loud. There's a wedding going on up there. It was really fun, and it's such a nice day. And there's a mall like literally over the road, so we're gonna go there and do a bit of shopping, I think. Maybe grab a drink and then we'll head back and we're going out tonight to walk the top. So that evening we actually went out in Nashville and met up with one of our old school friends who was working as cabin crew on our flight home so we had such a fun night. We went to the distillery for dinner and drinks which I really recommend and then we went out on the town. <laughs> and we have come to the Hillsborough area. We're just currently waiting to try and find somewhere to go for breakfast and we're just waiting for our friend Sally who joined us last night and hopefully we can get in somewhere for brunch and then our flight this evening is at I think like 8.30 so we have a bit of time to kill in Nashville which is cool and yeah it's a really lovely area. So for some reason, well I guess I say for some reason, the whole area was really busy. I think it was full of Taylor Swift fans. We ended up trying to get in breakfast one place and there was a three hour wait so we then went to Fido which is actually the coffee shop that apparently was Taylor's favourite. Went there for breakfast, I queued for an hour to order our food but it was pretty good. Then we took a lovely walk for about half an hour over to the Five Daughters Bakery and the neighbourhoods we walked through were stunning. It was like something out of a TV so show. Cute. Cereal bar. We're just going to the Five Daughters Bakery, which is a donut place, even though we're very full from breakfast. So we were actually all really full from breakfast, but because Ellie had seen this place on Instagram and other places, we really wanted to try it. So we shared a cronut, which to be honest, I didn't really rate because I don't really like 
croissants that much. We then got an Uber back to Broadway in the center of Nashville and me and Ellie actually decided to book a last minute tour of the Ryman, which I'm kind of glad that we did because we saw lots of interesting things and it was, I think, $28. We got a $3 discount because we showed our Taylor Swift tickets and it was just a really nice way to end our trip. We then went back to the hotel. This was the hotel lobby because I never even showed any of it at the beginning. And then we headed to the airport, got ourselves some fried chicken and there was a massive storm. Like so much rain that the roof started caving in in places, which was not particularly encouraging when we were about to head off on a flight. So our flight ended up being delayed for a few hours and we had a pretty scary flight home. I'm not gonna lie. There was quite a lot of turbulence and I could see the lightning out the window, but we made it home. This is going really well. I said in that that I was gonna do a haul, but I didn't do that when we got back to the hotel room because we ended up going out that evening. But I thought I would do a little haul now of the things that I got from the Taylor Swift merch truck and also just the stuff that I got that day because in Nashville, we did like a little bit of shopping that afternoon. I actually only got two things from the merch truck and I think it ended up being like $120. It was expensive. And I'd also seen people talking about on Twitter about how some of the work, the merch, the merch doesn't wash very well and it's not very good quality. So I was like, okay, I'm only gonna get two things because I don't want to get too much and then it all like go really weird in the wash, which for something that you're spending so much money on, you'd think it would be a bit better quality, but. Also these are all covered in dog hairs because I did, like I have worn these. I haven't washed them yet, just in case. Or well, maybe I should do a wash and then update you. But I did wear these on the way home and then like the next day. And I've been wearing the hoodie like all week. I did get this t-shirt and I don't know why I got two things that were both black because we have a white and cream dog who sheds. So I got this t-shirt, which is just the classic era store t-shirt which has got all of the US dates on the back. Actually, no, it doesn't. It doesn't even have the dates. It just has the states and then it has all of the different albums. So I got this and I got both of the things in a size medium, which then when I took them back, I tried on the hoodie and I was like, it definitely comes up bigger than a regular medium. But then the guy at the merch truck did say to me that the merch shrinks. And I was thinking, great, so I'm spending $120 on merch that is gonna shrink, go funny in the wash and the print is gonna come off. I was like, excellent. This one was one of the recently launched ones because they do sell the black hoodie on the website, which I think has got white writing. But this is the black hoodie that's got the sort of gray print on it, which I thought looked really cool. And Ellie actually sent this to me on Twitter when they first launched this. And she was like, that hoodie is so you. And she's completely right. Like I live in hoodies. I have a lot of black hoodies. Did I need another one? No, but this one is really cool. And um, to be fair, it does feel like a nice thick quality hoodie, which is a bit of a relief. However, when I got it back to the hotel, I noticed it's kind of disappeared now because I've been wearing it, but the inside of it was sticky and was sort of like stuck together. I'm guessing from like the ink of the print but you know what i was just relieved that they had some merch left because um we went at about three o'clock in the afternoon on the thursday we only queued for about half an hour but it definitely does come up bigger um but we'll see how it washes eh? so those were the two merch pieces that i got and then i got a few souvenir bits um i did actually get a couple of bits from graceland i got two key rings just because james collects key rings and also packets of cards from different countries. So at Graceland I saw these two and I thought they were really cute and thought I'll get one for me and one for James and then he can pick. So I got this record that says Elvis on it and then I also got this guitar which says Elvis Presley on it. I thought both of those were pretty cute. Also the most random thing I actually met a subscriber who was also called Sophie and her boyfriend at Graceland. What? And she they were also British. They were also there on holiday and they were also staying in Nashville but I don't think they were there for Taylor Swift. So yeah that was really funny but they were really lovely and I was thinking what a mad coincidence that I'm literally in Memphis and staying in Nashville and they're doing the same thing and also from the UK. Hi guys, if you're watching this vlog. So I got those two from Graceland and then on the afternoon that we got the Taylor merch, I got James a pack of Nashville cards, which I couldn't actually see what they look like on the inside. I think they might all just be like this print. Got us a fridge magnet, which is also a beer can opener or just like a bottle opener. Not beer can, you know what I mean. And I also got two Christmas decorations because James and I have a bit of a tradition now. Uh, the places that we visited on holiday, if we can find one, we will get a Christmas decoration to put on our tree. So I got a guitar and this really cute, um, tacky, glittery Nashville decoration. I also got one of these and I, it's still going. It's called a Goo Goo Cluster. One of you guys said that I had to try one of these. Uh, literally just tastes like a Snickers bar. Actually really good. It's like peanuts and caramel. I got a little soap, which is actually for my mum. This is the brand. I wanted to get something for my mum because for my dad, I got him a bottle of Nashville hot sauce because he's been obsessed with um, 
hot ones, the YouTube series, and it, he went through a stage of like buying a whole bunch of hot sauces to try. So I thought I would get him a Nashville hot sauce, and then I thought, well, I can't get something for my dad, and then not for my mum. Then finally, I went to Sephora. I literally got one thing in Sephora because I think we can get most of the stuff in the UK. I think House Labs was the only brand that we can't get hold of, so I got the House Labs foundation, which I have posted a testing video of this already. And then I also, from um, Walgreens, got another one of the Maybelline Loose fit me finishing powders because we don't have this particular one in the UK and it's the best um so I just got one of those as well and other than all the food and drinks and stuff food and drinks are about the same price as the UK and they're actually probably a bit more ex mm, depends where you where you eat I had very limited uh case space I think probably because I bought three pairs of cowboy boots with me we had a 23 kg case limit on the way out I was 21.5 on the way back I was 23.8 and Ellie was also over by a couple of things but they let us off which was very nice. That is it. That is the end of the Nashville vlog. I finally finished editing it. Here's a little like vlogception thing. Thank you guys so much for watching. We had the best, best time away. I actually enjoyed it even more than I thought I would. Like we just had so much fun and like me and Ellie had so many laughs. We were literally like belly laughing, crying with laughter. We just had so much fun acting like we were kids again and it was just such a cool experience and Ellie, I know that you're going to be watching this. I love you so much. Thank you for the best trip ever and we will have to go back to Nashville. It was just so fun. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I know this vlog was a bit chaotic and not the best put together but hey i did what i could give this a thumbs up let me know if you have any questions about the things that we did or the places that we stayed out or visited or anything and i will try and get back to you and i will see you guys in the next vlog bye